What's up guys, Veritas here, and the update is looking good. Wednesday, April 3rd, Ubisoft dropped their State of the Game live stream, and the details that they talked about, both positive and negative, are all looking pretty sweet in terms of LMG builds. So if you're following that latest build that I released, stick with it. It's going to be powerful when that Tier 5 drops. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description. It showcases a solo LMG build. Um mainly pve i'll do a pvp follow-up video pretty soon so this this pve build is for solo players and squad base but the survivability and the damage is in paramount i mean it's going to destroy so lmgs are in a solid place uh, let's get to the details of the update according to ubisoft they are nerfing the current and future roles for crit damage and headshot damage on gear so with the world tier 5 coming out you know, the numbers would be too high. They're at a good place now. So they're going to lower those damage rolls on gear for the future update. Uh, they're also lowering the damage of the M700 and MK17 to bring them in line with the other marksmen and rifle classes. So if you're running a sniper build, this is kind of a bummer. But I get where they're coming from. They were outperforming the other rifles in their classes. So this is a needed uh, nerf, so to speak. Another nerf that is going to be huge for meta builds is to the SMG life drain builds. They're changing that talent that everyone's using called safeguard. And what it was doing is it, it boosts 150% to your healing and armor repair. So for those guys that were relying on their armor to be taken off and continually heal as they deal damage with those high rate of fire SMGs, they're adding a cooldown to that. So I don't know if this build is going to be viable. I'm going to have to check it out. But I personally think it's a good nerf. That build is a little overpowered in PvP. So it's going to be nice to see that kind of fizzle out. Uh, they're also changing part of the demolitionist setup. They're reducing the perk crisis response. And what this perk does is when you get your armor taken off, your magazine is refilled from nothing. It's essentially infinite ammo every time that your armor gets taken off. So they're putting a cooldown on that as well. So I don't think it's going to be a big effect in the big picture. You know, it might hurt those infinite ammo builds where you can just keep firing and firing. But overall, I don't think it's going to impact that meta change near the end game. Uh, they also talked about some big buffs, and some of these actually have me very excited, especially in terms of skill power. I was kind of concerned on D2 with the skill power builds. I wasn't impressed. I tried putting together a, a build for a review, and I had a tough time, honestly. I, I would rather do more damage with my gun. The skill power was very underwhelming. The heals are nice, but in terms of damage output and support, a lot of things weren't working well. So they are buffing this stuff. I guess the chem launcher is getting a huge buff in terms of just ease of use. Um, what they're going to do now is instead of getting stuck in that phase where you, sh you aim and it just freezes, you're going to equip the chem launcher as if it's a weapon. So then you can wield it and shoot, whether it be the you know fire starter or heal. It'll be very, very easier to use. So that's awesome. And also, they're changing the way skill mods work. So right now, skill power is not necessarily impossible. I think I reached 8,900 skill power on my build. Um, but some of the mods require a lot. And I guess they're lowering the overall skill power on everybody's characters and lowering the required skill power to use some of these mods on gear. So this will be good um, in terms of possible builds in the future. We can still maybe spec into some damage for our weapons and not have to just skill power with no weapon damage at all. Uh, some more buffs. They're uh, changing the LVOAC and the lightweight M4, which is good because those were underperforming in terms of rifles. Uh, they're also changing the AA-12 shotgun. I, honestly, I didn't think that that needed a nerf or buff. Or I, I think it was in a good place. We'll see if it becomes overpowered. Um, I think it was well balanced to begin with, but like I said, we'll see where that goes. Um, th <laughs> this, this next one is huge. They're changing the MG5 heavy machine gun. Now, according to them, they're just buffing it. We don't know whether that's going to be base damage, reload speed, what. 
I'm really excited. Uh, the PvP build that you're watching in the background right now relies on the MG5, the fast fire rate with that max damage. If they're buffing it, that build is only going to get better. So I'm really excited for that PvP build I have. I'll showcase how the MG5 just shreds in both the conflict and dark zone. So that will be coming up as well. Very excited. Um, they're changing weapon mods. Now this one is huge. I'm a little nervous about this. They're taking away the negative si like drawbacks on some of the weapon mods. Um, I, I kind of like that risk and reward. You know, you want damage to elites, you lose headshot damage. You want crit chance, you lose... I think another one was headshot damage or crit damage, you lose stability. They're taking those away, and we're going to see how this works. I'll be messing with the numbers. I hope it doesn't impact gameplay too much, um, but like I said, we'll have to see. We don't have anything set in stone yet. I, I guess there are still going to be some mods with negatives on it, but just not as bad. Uh, we'll see where it goes. That, that's a big change, so that will uh, definitely have to be covered in the future. So these were mainly all the details from Wednesday's live stream. I hope it helped everybody out. I want you to stay tuned. That PvP build is coming, and I'm excited because nothing's changing according to that Friday patch. So when it releases, it'll be good to go. Um, Thanks for tuning in. If you honestly dislike the video, feel free to hit that button. But if you found it informative, smash that like button and subscribe for upcoming Division 2 content. Thank you, and see you on the flip side.